And it's the D final now. There is 57, Barry Rapley. Paul Hubbard, 147 is there. And starting from the back of the grid because he's got uh, clutch problems. It was going to be Mark Flaherty, but in fact, he has stopped just coming off the grid. There he is, Mark Flaherty. He couldn't get away. He was placed at the back of the grid. He should have been on front on pole. Bjornis is looking down there to see if he can find any gears, and I think his final is run. Anyway, we're back with the leaders. It's 9-1, to one, Mark Baker, who is leading Barry Rapley in the mini. Uh, Paul Hubbard is in third place, and I believe you know something about that third place car number 147, Steve. Yes, I must confess, Bill, that that little yellow Fiesta there uh, tugged at the heartstrings this morning in the paddock because I built that car myself about, uh, about five years ago now. If you can just have a look at the little yellow Fiesta there. Paul Hubbard in third place at the moment. And that car took me nine months to build. And my wife, Chris, said it was just like giving birth. Oh, now, that's an excellent coat. There he is, 147. Has it changed much since you had it? No, in fact, uh, Paul was telling me this morning that uh, he's had some trouble with the cylinder head and he's replaced the cylinder head. And on the rolling road, he had 120 horsepower, which is within about five horsepower of the figures we had when the car was brand new. So she's holding up well, is the old girl. Meanwhile, we're back with the battles for the lead. That's Barry Rapley trying to go through past Mark Baker. There's a little bit of door handle stuff there. And Mark Baker just finding the extra grip from the Metro to pull clear off Barry Rapley, but Rapley has not dropped too far behind. Somebody going very wide as they come off Chesson's Drift. The cars are being caught out there. In fact, it was Greg Borman. He managed to recover, but he dropped a lot of ground on Paul Hubbard. So there he is down at the back there in fourth place in the red Fiesta. Through in the lead goes Mark Baker. Second place, the man who's challenging for that lead, Barry Rapley. Can Barry Rapley close up? Or in fact, is uh, Paul Hubbard going to close up on second place, man? It's getting very, very exciting there out uh, on the track with the rain having come down and really thrown most of the drivers. Yes, this is true, and let's not forget once again, I know we keep mentioning this fact, but there's only the guy at the front of the field with a clear screen, and it really is a tremendous advantage. If you can imagine driving in the rain, and instead of having spray thrown at your windscreen, you're having mud thrown at your windscreen. It's an absolute blackout inside there. And there well, we have now the Mini, Barry Rapley, he's closing right up on this Metro. He's trying to size him up and take him as they come off the end of Chesson's Drift onto the tarmac. Well, I think that the only way he's going to get past him at the moment is going to be to go over the top of him, but I shouldn't speak too soon because he might just do, do just that. In fact, he's trying to go around the outside, but uh, Baker there, a good line going around the elbow, starts to pull out a bit of a, a gap now. This is where Barry Rapley seems to lose out, and it's also the point where Paul Hubbard closes on him, but I think with only a lap left to go now, if I'm not mistaken, I think that Rapley will be uh, attempting to overtake the leader one final time down there at Chesson's Drift. Yes, and how many times have we seen a position change on Ch Chesson's Drift today? Once that corner is wet, it really is a lottery, and it makes a tremendous difference to these racers. Well, according to me, yes, in fact, the chequered flag, the Finnish marshal has picked up the chequered flag. I thought they were going to send them round for another lap. The laps do not extend it. Oh, and uh, a bit of a nudge there in the back by Barry Rapley, he's eager to get past Mark Baker, but Mark Baker, totally unperturbed by it all, sticks out there in front, puts the power down, takes victory in the D final to go through onto the back row of the grid for the C race. So, just to recap there, Mark Baker wins number 91, second place, number 57, it's uh, Barry Rapley, and the Fiesta there just taking third place, and we're wondering, in fact, yes, he's lost the wheel, so Paul Hubbard there, still managed to come through in third place despite losing a wheel. What do you think to that, Steve? Well, I'm going to claim complete innocence because Paul did tell me this morning that he'd built a new beam axle for the rear end and bolted it on prior to this meeting. So at least he can't blame me for not fastening that on properly. 